your favorite couple is back on the charts again. And this time around, they decided to bring one of the hottest rappers in the industry to their mix, Lil Baby. When it started as an innocent conversation between Krishan Rock and Lil Baby at the Super Bowl after party, turned out to be Krishan and Blueface's latest issue. If you think telling the world that she had an affair with 10 different men will make Blueface leave Krishan, think again. However, Lil Baby flirting with her just might do the trick. Keep watching till the end of this video to see Blueface reacts to Lil Baby flirting with Krishan Rock. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. Blueface reacts to Lil Baby flirting with Krishan Rock. While the chats between Lil Baby and Krishan are all up in our faces today, that isn't the origin of Blueface's jealousy. It all started after a picture of Lil Baby and Krishan Rock from the Super Bowl after party went viral. Blueface and Krishan Rock went on an Instagram live session where Blueface questioned her about the picture. I think you've been letting two man rap be in your face, said Blueface as he questioned Krishan Rock about the viral picture. Krishan went on to say that she doesn't talk to many rappers, but she knew exactly what he was trying to talk about. She told Blueface that she knew he was trying to talk about the photo of herself and Lil Baby that went viral on Twitter. Before Blueface could say anything more, Krishan quickly added that they were talking about Blueface and work in the captured moment. Blueface didn't seem to believe her. He went on to ask her what they were saying about it. Krishan responded by saying that Lil Baby asked about them and she told him that Blueface was her manager. Blueface responded saying, oh, so now I'm your manager. Although the two appeared to laugh about it, Krishan went on to reassure him that he was still her man. Not moved by her reassurance, Blueface went on to ask Krishan what Lil Baby said when she told him that he was her manager. According to Krishan Rock, Lil Baby told her that she has so much potential and could go on to be something bigger if she levels up. She claimed that it was an empowerment conversation. Blueface went on to claim that the picture that went viral looked more like Lil Baby wanted something more than just empowerment. He went on to say that Lil Baby was all up in her face like he wanted to get sexual with her. And he proceeded to joke about Lil Baby getting sexual with him too since a tattoo of his face is sitting pretty on her neck. Blueface said, any in your face is on my face, I'm right in your neck. Krishan Rock, who seemed to be uncomfortable with the fact that Blueface was making such jokes, went on to tell him to chill out. While everything seemed chill and friendly in the live video, it soon turned pretty messy. A couple of days after, when Blueface leaked Krishan Rock's text messages with Lil Baby. Blueface leaks Krishan Rock's chats with Lil Baby. It turned out that Lil Baby did more than just have an empowerment conversation with Krishan at the Super Bowl after party. Apparently, Krishan Rock and Lil Baby exchanged contacts at the party, and when the live session between Krishan and Blueface went viral, Lil Baby had to text Krishan Rock about it. In the leaked text between the two, Lil Baby wrote, Why people saying I was in your DM? Why you ain't tell them I'm a big brother? I hate like that. Well, Blueface didn't seem to like that Lil Baby was calling himself his girl's big brother in her DMs. So he decided to leak the chats and go on a rant on Twitter. He captioned it saying, Met my one time talk about he big brother. You ain't no son to me. The truth could never be a diss. He didn't end there. He went on to threaten Lil Baby and told him he'd send his gang members if he came to his territory without checking in. I run this on SY. Be mad if you want to post my messages. I'm bleeding anything. Come through my territory without checking in. Welcome to death row, said Blueface. He continued in numerous other tweets. You in her DMs? I'm in this phone on SY Crip. Anything that makes rock boom, I'm all for it, even if I gotta look bad. Of course, Blueface faced backlash as netizens called him out for going through Krishan's phone. And Blueface went on to defend himself in a series of tweets. He wrote, I ain't bring her to the top for you to play fake big brother. A fake like you want to work for a picture or some Let's do business or move around. It's very simple. I invested in this a long time ago. You want to work with Rock, call Blue, or I'm bleeding you unprofessionally every time. Blueface responded by claiming that he didn't have to go through Krishan Rock's phone because she gave Lil Baby his number instead of hers at the after party. It turned out that all this while, Lil Baby had been texting Blueface, thinking it was Krishan Rock. Blueface wrote on Twitter, 
ain't even have to go through the phone. Rock gave cause the number he'd been texting me the whole time. Lil Baby has, however, stayed silent publicly since Blueface and Krishan Rock decided to put his name in their business. But one person who couldn't keep himself out of the controversial couple's issues is rap blogger DJ Academics. Now, anyone who knows about the relationship between Blueface and DJ Academics knows that AK can't stand Blue, and he never shies away from a chance to call out Blueface. He found the perfect time. DJ Academics calls out Blueface. While DJ Academics would normally call out Blueface alongside Krishan Rock in such a situation, DJ Academics surprised everyone in this mix-up. AK stood by Krishan Rock and asked Blueface not to disrupt her career because of his jealousy. He wrote in a tweet, At Blueface bleed him. Let me just end this and say the obvious. Your bitch is the prize. Play your role and support her. Stop hating on her. Nobody trying to her. They just around her like they were around you when you were hot. For clout, play the background. Be seen, not heard. Of course, Blueface got the tag and had a quick response for DJ Academics as he said, Here come AK, clout chasing. Been talking about me for a while now, bro. You ain't my son either. Get off my but that response wasn't going to get DJ Academics off him. AK went on to list how many top celebrities Blueface has prevented from getting into Krishan Rock's life. Blueface really a hater for his girl. Your girl who sucks at music, but trying anyways. Gets followed by Drake, you immediately hate and say he's infatuated with you. Rick Ross takes a pic, you pissed as f Lil Baby gives her his number, you expose messages. Just say you want a controller. Blueface responded to DJ Academics claiming that he was not trying to stop her career or control her. He wrote in a series of tweets, AK, I don't want to control her. I want to control the business. It's called management. Come through, Suge, if you want to work with Pac. It's very simple, Death Row Records. DJ Academics went on to tell Blueface that he had trust issues, even though Krishan Rock has gone to some extreme lengths to show him that she loves him. Bro, you're sick, dog. She tatted your name and face seven times. Seems like your issue is with her loyalty, so you gotta step in to check the dudes. If your issue is other men communicating with her in this industry, you're gonna have a long day. Word to the wise, establish some trust. AK didn't stop there, he went on to ask what Blueface would do if a rapper like Future flirted with Krishan. If Blueface acting like this when Rick Ross and Baby hit up his girl, imagine when Future hit her line. That might take a Greyhound to Atlanta for that. I mean, we've all seen the future memes, and we know for sure that Blueface wouldn't be able to handle such heat. DJ Academics ended his tweets by highlighting how badly Blueface has been hating on Krishan Rock. Blueface been trying to make every repulsed by his girl. Number one, exposed that she slept with 10 in last year. Number two, asks why Lil Baby would want a toothless girl. Number three, constantly brings up the fact he's tatted all over her. Number four, ruins relationships with others hating on his own girl. That's the end of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more content. Thanks.